get there quick before the wind takes it. <laughs> I had a chance to score better on that, I shouldn't have bogeyed that. I've given myself a chance for a birdie on a lot of the holes on this, I've just putted terribly. We just look where you parked your buggy. So what happens when you miss the, completely miss the um, tee box here? It says no path beyond this point. Where? Beyond where? Yeah. yeah. Par 3, hole number 12. 127 meters downhill. Wind's a little bit behind me. Um, the pin's down there. As you can see that. I'm gonna I'm gonna take a gap wedge into this one and see if I can get one on the green. Buggy in the end after going into that little into that little um, valley over there. So I'm just aiming over the bunker on the right and hopefully the wind brings it back to the left of the green. Let's go. That's a good par. Really nice. All right. Taking some of these views and we're going to hold, move on to hole number 15. First time driving a buggy, first time being in a buggy, yeah? Yes. And it's the windiest day ever. My, I think my head's frozen. Look, not bad considering, not bad. I didn't really have much of a backswing. It's on the green. I think just off actually on the right. Turn the wheel! <laughs> Stop it! It's in neutral. Oh, there we go. All right, we're good. Pretty good. Happy with that. Got a putt. That's super disappointing. That was a right putt too, just didn't, just slipped out. Alright guys, we're on to a par 4, 16th hole, par 4, 300 meters. The wind's behind me so I, I think I can get this really close up there. It, I've been striping the driver today which has been good. Probably the most positive part of my game today, I'm just looking for little bits as I try to improve my game. My putting's been off, hopefully these last three holes Give me a chance for some birdies and pars. I do have a par three which I want to cash in on. So if you're enjoying this content, make sure to subscribe, like the like this video so that gets to more people and um, yeah, see what I can shoot in the last three holes.
Uh, I'm just aiming at those right pop bunkers and fade one back into the middle of the fairway. See how close we can get this. I think it's on the left hand side of the fairway. Might have just leaked off, but pretty good in the end. Nah, no, that actually kicked forward. I don't know how. That's really good. But it got a real nasty kick forward. It's on the green though. Excuse me. <laughs> I need my actually I don't need my clubs because I'm playing that bad. I'm happy to walk this. I hit this stuff just before the green and it kicked forward so hard like it shouldn't have either that or I hit this sprinkler head one of the two because it just absolutely took off but I've got about 10 feet coming or maybe even 15 feet coming back up the hill Let's see if I can knock it down it kind of falls away after the hole so I've got to be really careful with speed on this part oh no 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 The wind took it a bit. I mean, what did I say? Don't hit it past the hole. The ball drops away and I just knew it in my putting stroke. It's like thinking, don't hit it too hard and what I do. There's a lesson in that. Stop thinking about it when you're over the ball. Oh no! Oh! That was 100% the wind, took it. That, that was a wind. How, that was savage, man. That, that was a really, wind. like, took it to the left. All right, last ball, taking a drop. This is my third. Um, it just entered in here and into these bushes. I'm not gonna find it. Got this chip up and, and over. Um, it's gone with a sandwich. You know what? I knew straight away that wasn't the right club. I don't know why. All right, right, left to right here, um, down the hill. Let's get the speed right. Turn, turn. There's a lesson today. Apart from the putting for my game, those short little chips with a sandwich. Especially winter golf, you gotta get something that runs a little bit more. The ground's too soft, tight lies. We don't learn from this stuff as amateurs and then we keep making the same mistakes. That's why we score so badly. All right guys, last hole of the day. Par, what is this? Par four. I think it's like, hold on. I'm gonna tell you exactly what it is. So we have a 290 par 4. So, if I par this is a situation, right? If I par this, I end up breaking 90 today, which is an unbelievable for me today with the conditions, the way I've been putting. If I break 90 today, some sort of miracle, struck by lightning type stuff. So, hopefully, I can make this. Um, let's go finish this off. It's been an unbelievable day. I've had so much fun here. I do want to say a huge special thank you to you. For coming out and doing all the camera work today making youtube content is a lot of work man and um i enjoy it i love it but having the help really does make a difference so i hope you guys enjoy this type of content if you have enjoyed it make sure to like the video that tells us creators that the effort that we're putting in to make videos for you guys is actually worth it and you guys enjoy watching it if not um it doesn't do anything for us right we we try to build communities and entertain you guys and give you some sort of value and I hope you get it. Look at that wind. I've not been in a single bunker all day. This is the first one and not only I've got this bunker but I've got one in front of it. I'm just going to try and take not much sand and get it onto green. Straight into bunker number oh, two. No, it's plugged. That's, that's gonna be horrible. Bring it. This bunker is like get get a close up of this. We're in the middle of winter, and look at this. Unbelievable, man. The conditions, are, the course has been unreal. But look where your wall is. Say, but look at my, I got a fried egg. <laughs> Sunny side up. Oh my gosh! I don't even know if I can get this. 
Might as well try. Oh wow, that might be the best shot I've ever hit. That was sick! Dude, what the? That was sick. Hey babe, you gotta give me some reaction. You give me nothing. Cameraman's just got front seats for the greatest shot I've ever hit. With a bunch of sand in your mouth. I don't care, that was worth it. I'll eat sand for the rest of my life if I get <laughs> shots like that. Well guys, that brings this video to an end. I've had an absolute ball. Thank you again, Sam, for being on the camera today. 91 is what I walk away with. Not a bad, not a bad score considering how hard it was today. These are the hardest conditions I've ever played in. I mean, the sun was out, yes, but I, don't, I think the winds got up to something like 30, 40 kilometers an hour. So all, see, all things said and done i just didn't putt well enough to score well enough um, i'm gonna break this video down in a separate video so stay tuned for that i hope you enjoyed this two-part series if you did make sure to subscribe to the channel see you on the next one